had pretty low expectations of these. These are definitely my number one pick for the launch. I can't tell if this looks weird or not. You just can't go wrong with the Aurora crops and you cannot see a single sweat mark. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Buff Bunny Taste of Summer launch. And this is going to be on July 4th, which is this Saturday. And it feels like I've been doing back-to-back -back Buff Bunny reviews recently. I haven't been the most consistent about filming this month because I had a rigorous school schedule. Now I am sort of on break, I guess. So the videos will be more consistent. Before I get any questions, the last Buff Bunny launch, which was a mini a hint of summer launch, that was all of the live pieces, like the live shorts, the live leggings, the lively bra, all those things. Those those will be restocking in about, I think like five to six weeks at this point. They did do a rush order on those because they were really popular. And let me just say, I have never gotten so much positive feedback from you guys on a launch. Every person that has messaged me has absolutely raved about the shorts and the leggings. I've gotten so many compliments about them. So if you did miss out on that launch, just know that they will be restocking. And honestly, those new live leggings might be my new number one from Buff Bunny. They're just such a nice basic and they're so wearable in the shorts. Anyways, just wanted to mention that stuff. So for the full taste of summer launch, which is what I'm reviewing today, they're launching a lot of new stuff. They have some new Game Changer backpack colors. I've already done basically two full reviews of the Game Changer backpack, so I'm not gonna be doing like a full review in this video. I'll do a little quick summary at the end. I will link my two past reviews of the Game Changer backpack down below. They also have some fun prints in this upcoming launch, a brand new performance fabric, and a bunch of old styles that they're bringing back with new colors. As always, I don't know any of the prices yet, but I will put the colors and sizes that everything comes in on the screen when I'm introducing the items and I will post on my story the day before the launch. So like July 3rd on my Instagram story, I will post the prices because that's usually when I know. I didn't get every single piece that they're launching, but at the end of the video, I'll go over the pieces I didn't get and just like tell you about them. But obviously I won't be able to try them on because I don't have them. I do have most though. And yes, I'm sitting today because I just wanted to be a little more comfortable. Cozy on the couch. Interjecting in real quick because I totally forgot to mention I do have a code with Buff Bunny. It's just my name, Catherine. Enter it in at checkout. It's not a discount or anything, but it just kind of shows them that I sent you, I helped you out with anything. If this review helped you at all, I'd appreciate if you use it. If you do use it, feel free to send me a screenshot over Instagram DM or email, whatever's easier. I prefer DM though. And I will enter you into my monthly giveaway for a chance to win a $50 active wear gift card. Just my way to say thank you because I know it's a little bit of an inconvenience to enter a code in at checkout, especially when it's not giving you a discount. So I hope that helps a little bit. Also feel free to DM me with any sizing questions, preferably by Friday this week so I have time to get back to you before the launch happens. And as always, my reviews are 100% honest, my own opinion, so I will be giving you all the pros as well as the cons of every item in this collection. Anyways, I wanted to start off with the Limitless leggings. I feel like these are going to be very popular. They're the only prints in the launch. I got them in the color Citrus Black, but it also comes in Citrus Lilac, which looks white to me, but I think it's just like the tiniest bit lilac, but it looks kind of white. These come in size extra small to 3XL. And I am very picky about patterns. Like I really don't wear a ton of patterns myself personally, but I love these in the darker color because I feel like it's a very wearable pattern. Like I wore these to work out and I didn't feel like, oh, everyone's staring at me because I'm wearing such a bold outfit. I like the lilac white one as well, but knowing me, I probably just wouldn't reach for it as much. And patterns can just draw a lot of attention. Sometimes you don't want to do that. So I like this one. It says it's a citrus print, but to me, it kind of looks like the outline of like flower petals or something. As for material, these are the same material as the old Buff Bunny marble leggings. So expect a similar stretch to that. They're definitely a really good performance legging. They're sleek, not brushed, and they're very sweat wicking as well. They're also super stretchy, so you're not gonna feel any restrictions. And I didn't get any fraying or pilling when I used my glute band on these, so they're definitely holding up. They also have a seamless waistband and they have the side phone pockets, 25 inch inseam, so they might be a seven, eight, on some people. To me, it goes like right above my ankle. And I'll squat test these ones, but the white ones honestly should be squat proof too because the white marble leggings were totally squat proof, which I was shook for a pair of white leggings. And they just have a little Buff Bunny logo on the back. Excuse the tomato face, but I just did a full like outdoor workout in um, 99 degree weather for 45 minutes. And I was literally dripping sweat like so bad. And you cannot see a single sweat mark on me like even under boob i always sweat in the under boob region and you cannot see it at all i don't know if it's just a pattern but i don't even see it in the solid area so this is definitely a good fabric for really sweaty workouts 
definitely approved. All right, so here are the limitless leggings. They're super stretchy, really comfy to wear, and I love how performance they are. They do have a seamless waistband. I'm wearing a size small in these. I would say that these are definitely true to size. If anything, I would size down only if you're in between though. If you're not in between, go through normal size. But I say that just because the waistband is actually the tiniest bit big on me. These didn't slide down in my workout. They actually stayed up very well, but that just kind of surprised me because usually if anything, Buff Bunny runs a little bit small, but the waistband was a teeny bit big. Not enough to make me get a different size though. They're high rise, they go to my belly button. The fabric is super sleek in performance, very sweat wicking. They have a slightly more sleek feeling than the new Luna leggings that I'll review in a couple minutes, but they're definitely good for really sweaty workouts. If you use any bands or anything, they're not gonna pill. I'm not a runner, but I would probably run in these if I did run. Sizable phone pocket it actually goes all the way down there, so lots of space. It'll definitely fit all standard phones. They're a 25 inch inseam, but they actually do go basically full length on me. So I wouldn't worry about these being too short for sure. I wouldn't say the booty seams are like curved or anything. They do come to a very slight point. So they do enhance the booty a little bit. I would give these a medium to high on the booty scale. The fabric has a solid medium compression. They're definitely not a high compression legging, but that being said, they also don't squish the booty down or anything. The fabric itself, I wouldn't say is cellulite proof, but the pattern would do a good job of hiding that. I did not have to do anything to prevent any gathering or camel. There's none, definitely camel proof. There's also no gathering. There's really no gathering anywhere. I feel like these fit me overall like very well. They're not gonna draw any attention, any weird areas. So I'm a huge fan of these. These are definitely my number one pick for the launch. So yeah, true to size, if anything, size down. If you size down, you'll probably get a little more compression just because these don't have like a ton of compression. But yeah, I loved how they held up in my workout, didn't slide down. They literally didn't show any sweat at all. And I was actually sweating so much that sweat was actually getting in my eyes. Like it was so bad. These didn't show any sweat. So huge fan, definitely recommend the Limitless Leggings. Next, we have the Jade Mesh Bra. This comes in the matching colors to the Limitless Leggings. This is one of the few spaghetti strap sports bras that I actually like because it actually gives you more support and holds you in more than you would think. It's still a light to medium support, so it's like nothing crazy, but I never feel like I'm gonna fall out of this bra. This is one of their older styles that they just brought back in this color, and I think a lot of people have liked this bra. So it has double spaghetti straps, and in the back it has this little mesh cutout that matches the color of the like main fabric. Removable cut pads, and it's made of the same sweat wicking material. When I did my workout in this, I didn't see any boob sweat, which I do get a lot of boob sweat usually. So next we have the Jade Mesh Bra, which goes with the Limitless Leggings. It's a solid light to medium support. It could have a little more jiggle resistance, if you know what I mean, but I actually feel really covered in it. There's no like side spillage or anything. And during my workouts, I'm at no risk of like losing anything, like it stays put. The bottom band does come up a little bit onto my boobs, but it doesn't bother me too much. I'm wearing a size small, I would say true to size. If anything, potentially size down. I am on the bigger end of the size small and I feel like it's, it's definitely not anywhere close to too tight on me. So size down if in between. It has a pretty deep scoop here, but I don't feel like it's clear. Leavage City, again, no side boob spillage. Little crisscross straps in the back, and I love the little mesh detail. And yeah, I love this matching set. Definitely some of my top pieces from the launch. Big fan. Next, we have the Luna leggings. These come in Bora Bora, which is the teal color, and they also come in Starry Night, which is navy, and Onyx, which is black. The Luna leggings are definitely an OG Buff Bunny style. They were the first pair of leggings I ever tried from them. And honestly, I didn't love them. I said it in my review, like they were, they just felt kind of restrictive. They were falling down on me and they just didn't fit very well. I think that was mostly due to the fabric since it like wasn't super stretchy and it was kind of falling down and they actually updated the fabric. So I'm not sure if this new fabric has a name. It's supposed to be their most performance sweat wicking fabric yet. And they said it's a sleek performance material and much stretchier than the original Luna leggings, which is good because the old ones did not feel very stretchy to me. I would potentially compare it to like a Lululemon Luxe Dream in feel. So it's not brushed, it's not shiny either, but it is that sleek performance material. So these leggings have a seamless waistband. They also have side pockets. They have one of those curved booty seams, which I find can sometimes cut off the line of your butt. So it kind of depends where these are gonna fall on me, if I'm gonna like it or not. Simple crotch gusset. And these are 26 inch inseam, so they'll definitely be more on the full length side. Quick little side by side. These are both in the color Bora Bora, but these are the Live leggings and these are the Luna leggings. So the colors may be like the see a bit different like really you would not be able to tell if it was even like in a sports bra just a little fabric comparison the live leggings are slightly brushed and are just 
super buttery soft. And the Luna leggings are the new performance fabric. So they're more of a slick sweat wicking performance material. And these are both a size small and I've lined them up on either side and they're actually the exact same in the waistband i'm a little surprised i think just the main difference in how they fit is because the luna leggings just have more compression to them they just fit a little tighter than the live leggings but i do wear the same size i wear small on both all right so here are the luna leggings i had pretty low expectations of these since i didn't love the last luna leggings i've tried but this updated fabric has definitely made these a lot better so i have a few things i like about these a few things i don't like so let's start with the things i like first i feel like the waistband comes down a little bit in the front and i'm actually getting a little bit of lower tummy control, which I don't see in a lot of leggings. I also like how compressive these are. These are definitely medium to high compression. I love the new fabric. I'm definitely a sucker for a nice brushed fabric, but there's a time and a place for a performance fabric. I feel like it's a little more breathable for summer. They're usually a little more sweat wicking and they just hold up better to using bands or anything and they just don't pill. So definitely loving the new performance fabric. I love how they come down and have the tummy control in the front, but they actually seem to like come up a little bit in the back and they're actually pretty high waisted. I feel like they're more flattering on the booty than I expected. And they're decently thick and compressive, so I would say they'd actually be pretty cellulite friendly. Not cellulite proof, but definitely cellulite friendly. So on to my cons, I did put a little panty liner in because they did cause a little bit of camel. So it's fixable, but it definitely causes more camel than the Limitless leggings or the Live leggings. They're also more of a 7 8 on me, which is funny because the inseam is an inch longer than the Limitless leggings, but they actually are showing up a little bit shorter on me. I feel like the booty seams could be a tad bit higher, but they're actually not bad. They do have the seamless waistband, but they actually come up and snatch me in in the waist pretty well. And I'm definitely getting a high compression all around in the waist, which I do definitely appreciate. They definitely remind me of a Luxstream type fabric, super performance. Got that slick, slidey feel. Another good running legging because the thighs can slide past each other, you know? The definitive booty scale rating is going to be a medium. And for sizing, these definitely felt smaller than the Limitless leggings and the Live leggings. So I'm still wearing my normal size and I think I would stick with my normal size. But if you're in between, definitely, definitely size up. The pocket detail also goes basically all the way down the leg and definitely has a lot of space. So love the pockets. Next, we have the Aurora crop top. I'm really excited about this one because this crop top I actually mentioned in my top five sports bras and tops video last year. It's just one of my favorite crop tops ever. It's coming in zesty, which is yellow, coconut, which is white, Bora Bora, and passion, which is a bright pink. This is the passion color, a sports bra we'll talk about later. These pair really well with the Luna leggings or if you got the live shorts and you weren't a huge fan of the lively bra, which I have coined the BDSM bra. Now there's a tank top you can wear with it instead. I love this top because it has a slight scoop neck. So it is a high neck, but it doesn't like cut into your neck at all. The straps also taper in a little bit, so they never fall down. They also cover most sports bra straps, which I like because I don't often like to show my sports bra straps underneath in case it like doesn't match the rest of my gym fit, you know? These also have quite a big logo. It's one and a half inches. It's just in the corner though. And because it's metallic, I feel like it's not like super bold, but if you really don't like any logos, this one does have this little guy. And this is made of the same performance material as the Luna leggings. So here's the Aurora crop. I was expecting this to be too tight in the size small because sometimes tops are, but I actually love how this fits. I'm wearing the Jade Mesh sports bra underneath. And as you can see, the straps are totally hidden. That's why I love this bra. It just hides all straps. It goes a few inches below your bra band. It'll go even longer if you don't really have a full chest just cause it takes up a little space. Stays in place really well. I definitely like this new fabric. You just can't go wrong with the Aurora crops. I love them so much. I have them in a bunch of colors. Pairs really well with the Luna leggings and also with the Live shorts and the Live leggings. It's not the same fabric as the Live, but the colors match. So here are the Live leggings in the same color. See, match. But yeah, it's a high neck, slightly scooped, so it doesn't go too close. Scoops around the arms a little bit, so it's not too close to your armpits and it's uncomfortable. Just a straight cut along the bottom and the straps go in in the back, so the straps are never gonna fall down. Next, we have the Maraschino bra, which is another alternative if you didn't like the Lively bra from the last launch. This one comes in zesty, which is yellow. Unfortunately, I don't have that color to compare to other Buff Bunny yellows but if I get a picture of one, I will insert it. It also comes in Passion, Bora Bora, and Onyx. So it does not come in the Bondi blue color if you have that in the shorts. You're kind of stuck with the lively bra there. This is also made with the new performance fabric, so it should be pretty sweat wicking. It has this deep V front, but I feel like it's still gonna hold you in pretty well because the rest of it seems like pretty structured. And then the back is like this really cute, like oval open back, gonna be very breathable. So I'm excited to try this one. It also has removable cup pads. All right, so here's the maraschino bra. I have it in passion and I threw on the passion live shorts match. 
I love these shorts so much. When they restock, I'm buying more of the colors. Okay, had, had to put that out in the world. <laughs> the fabric isn't the same as the live shorts, but the colors match. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but looking in the mirror, the colors are indistinguishable. So I'm wearing a size small. I took the cut pads out because they just were looking a little bit weird, but I don't think I'm getting any nippage. Yes, nippage is my term for nips. So a few pros and cons. I love the neckline. It's a deep V and it's definitely showing a little cleavage, but I feel totally supported. I'd give this a solid medium support, probably even a high support if you have a smaller chest. We have total side boob coverage, so that's not a risk either. So it's a little revealing, but you're not gonna lose anything. It's definitely secure. I totally love this open back. I think it's so cute. I love really open back sports bras for really hot weather. It's probably pretty sweat wicking as well because this is made of the new performance fabric. My two cons is that the bra band down here is coming up onto my boob a little bit. That probably will only happen with larger cup sizes so just be careful i do wear a 32 triple d so sometimes that happens it's not uncomfortable but it is coming up just like a tiny little bit it has kind of a thick band at the bottom which i wouldn't say it's like totally cutting into me but if you're wearing too small of a size it could get a little bit uncomfortable so just be careful of that i would definitely say it's true to size but if you're in between size up in this one i wish they made this sports bra in the same colors as all of the live shorts and everything because i definitely like this set as opposed to the like lively one Next, we have a little lounge set. I'll start with the shorts. These are the balance shorts. I got the color Aruba, which is pretty similar to the Bondi Blue from the Live Collection. This also comes in Onyx and Bellini, which is like a little peach color. These are super cozy. They have just like a drawstring waistband. It's just a two inch inseam, but honestly, I would just wear these for lounge anyway, so I don't really care about how long they are. Little pockets. They do have a little metal embellishment detail here, and the leg line kind of has that little like scooped scallop detail. The fabric is actually really thick and plush. Like it actually has a lot of structure to it. It doesn't have any of that super fuzzy inside lining like on the inside of like really soft sweatshirts it's just like the same fabric all around but that kind of helps with pilling too all right so here are the balance shorts i have them in a size medium they're definitely lounge shorts so i usually like my lounge shorts to be a little bit bigger i feel like they fit really well in like the butt area i wouldn't want them any smaller at risk for like my butt showing or just being too tight they fit definitely comfortably back here in the front i definitely feel like there is a little bit of extra fabric i can't tell if this looks weird or not it looks a little better if i like pull them up a little more but then the waist is a little too big on me even with the drawstring. So I might just go with your normal size. I'm usually a medium in shorts and these mediums are just a little bit big, but I am mostly a small in leggings. So if that helps with sizing. The pockets are really nice. I like the little scallop detail. They're definitely short, but I would just be wearing them around the house as lounge shorts. I wouldn't wear these to the gym. I love how thick and structured the fabric feels. Definitely different than most other lounge shorts I've tried. Love the little metal detail. So yeah, I wish the waist was just a little bit tighter. There is definitely a little bit risk for showing a little bit of booty. So be, be cautious of that. But yeah, I wish these fit a little better. It might've been better if I sized down to a small, but this is the shorts. To go with the balance shorts, there's a matching balance hoodie made of the same fabric. This one has a little raw edge cut out, so it's not like sewn or anything. It's a little raw cut out. It does have a hood. It also has little thumb holes. I love thumb holes. The back also has this really cute like layered detail. I'd be interested to see how that is on. It's also not a full length. It's cropped. So I think this is definitely more of a lounge hoodie, maybe like a gym hoodie, but it's probably not like the warmest thing, which makes sense because it's summer, but. Okay, so here's the balance hoodie. I think I like the sweatshirt more than the shorts. I'm wearing a medium in it and it fits perfectly. I'm usually a medium in sweatshirts. I'm a small in sports bras, but I usually like a little bit of extra room for tops and like jackets. So I'm wearing just a normal bra right now. If you're wearing a high neck sports bra or anything, you might see it, but if you're just wearing a regular bra, you should be fine. I wasn't sure about the cutout at first, but I actually kind of like it looking at it. It has a little detail. It's a nice crop length. It goes basically to the height of the shorts. For most people, it will go all the way down to the shorts or definitely to your high-waisted leggings. I just have a very long torso. So that's why I have a little bit of skin showing here. Again, I love the fabric. It's very structured, but it's actually not making me too hot. And it's definitely hot where I am right now. So I feel like it's actually a good like lightweight sweatshirt. I love the thumb holes. I always love thumb holes. I also love this color on me. And it has a little hoodie and then the back has that little like crisscross detail, which it's not sewed down, it like can open up or anything. So it makes it a little breathable.
Next, I got the Core Crop Zip Jacket. This one kind of threw me off when I got it because when I saw a jacket that was in the same colors, it comes in the Bora Bora and the Citrus Black, so it does come in that print. Since it kind of matches all the leggings and everything, I thought it would be more of an athletic material jacket, but it's actually just a sweatshirt. They also have these in a full length, but I have the cropped one. So it does have a full zip. It also has thumb holes. And this one is made of like a classic cotton spandex, so it does actually have that brushed, like fuzzy inside sweatshirt material, unlike the balance one. All right, so here's the crop zip up. It is just a classic classic sweatshirt material. I am wearing this in a size small and I definitely think it's pretty true to size. I don't think it's too tight anywhere. If you want it a little more relaxed, I would size up, but it's not like too tight on my chest and it's not too tight around this waist area. It basically goes to the top of my high-waisted leggings, but if you're shorter, it'll probably go the whole way. I just have like a very long torso. It does have these two little seam details down the front, silver zipper, has a little Buff Bunny logo on the zipper, another little silver logo tied on here. The sleeves are made of like a little rib, like cuff detail. And then it, again, it does have thumb holes. And the little bottom band here is made of the same little like cuff detail. It has a hood and yeah, it also comes in the full length version, which will be, you know, probably more like down here. Next, we have the Grateful Tank, which I was kind of excited when I saw this one because I have not seen a lot of full length tanks from Buff Bunny. So this one comes in the zesty yellow color. It comes in a mint green, white, and black. So this fabric kind of throws me off because it looks like it's just like a classic t-shirt material. It actually has a plushness to it. It's not brushed, but it's somehow plush. I don't know, I'll show you a close up. And it's also just incredibly stretchy and super lightweight. You can wear it full length or tied up, but sometimes I just like to have a full length tank to throw on when I go to the gym. So I definitely like the white for that. And it's a classic tank shape. I'm not sure this is the most flattering neckline slash cut on me. So I will try it on and show you guys, but. Okay, so here's the grateful tank. I'm wearing a size small. And as you can see, it's definitely a relaxed fit. So I would size down if you want it really tight but normal size if you want a slight relaxed fit. It has a slight like scooped curved hem on the side. It's definitely a pretty thick tank strap, goes up pretty high on the neck. I feel like it's a little like muscle bro cut for me. I prefer a little more taper and a little thinner straps. It's just a little more flattering on my figure. I also feel like it's a little bit tight here, but then I'm getting a little weird gaping around here. I definitely like the fabric and how lightweight and stretchy it is, but I just have to say, it's just not the most special tank in the world. The Aurora tank, I feel like is a total must have. This one, I feel like I'm really not blown away. Unless it was really affordable, I'd say it's not really my favorite. Unless this cut really appeals to you, I do really like the fabric. And a lot of people have been tying theirs up. It definitely is stretchy enough to tie up very easily. So just a little tie like that. I, I personally just prefer the full length, but yeah. And the last thing I have is the Game Changer backpack. I cannot say enough good things about the Game Changer bags and backpacks. I use either my backpack or my tote bag every day to dental school. It fits everything I need. I don't have to carry a separate bag for lunch. And all of mine have cleaned up very well. The backpack is made of a water resistant material. So I have the light pink right now and it's really like not dirty at all because it just like wipes off very easily. It's definitely not like a dirt attractor. So it's coming in this really pretty coral color. I think it's called Sunset Boulevard. It's also coming in a teal and a new aspect white color which the white looks so pretty they also came out with a little mini zip bag which i did not get but basically it just matches the game changer bag and it has a few extra little pockets in it good for like a makeup bag pencil case whatever i'm probably gonna buy it for myself at the launch because i just love the idea of a little mini guy inside this i don't know quick synopsis of the details again i have a more full review of the backpack in the description below but it's very spacious it has two little pockets on the back it has a zip mesh pocket down here. Then it has an elastic mesh pocket up here. It has a little water bottle mesh pocket here, which at first I didn't think was going to fit my Hydro Flask, but it actually does fit my Hydro Flask. It's a snug fit, but it actually fits. So. so that's the main compartment. And then at the bottom, they have a meal prep compartment, which is like really tall actually. It actually fits a ton in here, but keep in mind, the more you put in this bottom part, the less space you have in the actual body of the bag because it pushes up into the actual bag. So I usually just put like a kind of flat Tupperware in here so then I can still keep a lot of space in the rest of the bag for other stuff. And then it has a laptop compartment that fits up to a 15 inch laptop. I'll insert some photos measuring the bag because keep in mind, it's wider at the bottom and it does kind of taper at the top. It's about 10 inches here and 11 inches at the bottom. I would just measure your laptop, make sure it's gonna fit because there's nothing like getting a backpack that doesn't fit your laptop. If you have a 13 inch, totally fine. If you have 15 inch, I would just do some measurements. And they made a cute little dust bag that it comes in. So the backpack actually comes in this little bag. Not that you'd really use this much after you open it up, but but it could be like a little travel laundry bag or something. It does have a little drawstring, so. So onto things that are launching that I did not get. 
I did not get the little game changer zip bag, the one that goes inside the backpack. I did not get the Athena leggings. The Athena leggings, apparently they've already launched them before. I have never tried them, but they're in the same performance fabric as the Luna leggings came in. They only come in Bora Bora and Onyx. They have a 25 inch inseam. They're high waisted. They also have side pockets, but this one looks like it has a top band or seam. So a little more potential to cut into any muffin top, but it didn't look like it was doing it on the models very much, but sometimes models just don't have a lot of fat to cut into. So, but yeah, it does look like they have a top seam. Next, I did not get the perfect pair top. This is just like a little mesh tank, comes in black and white. It looks cute for if you wanna like show off the color of your sports bra under a top a little bit. Maybe if you can't just wear a sports bra to the gym, which is a stupid rule. Glad I don't have to deal with that. And then there's the full length core zip jacket, which comes in onyx, citrus black, but then it also comes in citrus lilac, which the crop does not come in. All right, that is it for the review. Let me know if you have any questions about any of the items down below or over DM. Down below might be more helpful so other people can see the answers, but you know. Again, if you have any questions about sizing specifically, feel free to send me a DM by Friday so I can get back to you before the launch. And if this review helped you at all, use code Catherine at checkout. It does help me out. I do appreciate it. So I keep making reviews for use, guys. Also make sure to subscribe because I have a lot of fun videos coming up that I'm very excited about. So make sure to hit the subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.